Hey you guys, I am going to show you today a pretty simple meal prep, which is spaghetti and meatballs. Welcome to Leah's table. So we're going to start out real quick with the spaghetti squash. And that's when I do the quotation spaghetti. It's actually a vegetable. So the hardest part is getting that thing cracked open. So be very careful when you cut into this and you want to always kind of split it down the middle so it cooks evenly on both. You want to remove all of those insides. Some people eat those seeds. They go right in my compost. I do not eat those seeds. I will not. Not today. Not never. Okay, so you can use a spoon. I use my mini ice cream scooper, it was easier than my plastic spoon. I had you what you want to do next is clean up all of this and put it wherever you put it. Um, I sprayed them with a little bit of coconut oil, flip them over, put them in the oven on 375 for about 45 minutes. I had nothing else to do with them. Now it's time for the meatballs. Now I make my own meatballs. I've been doing it for years. You definitely can use store bought <laughs> meatballs. Um, so in mine, I have some vegetables that were just about to go bad that I just chopped up in my Vitamix. So the red and orange is bell peppers, the green onions, garlic, and the yellow is some yellow squash. Mix it all together with some garlic, spray the pan with some more coconut oil, and start making my meatballs to stick right into that oven. Now I, again, make my own pasta sauce or tomato sauce, you can definitely use store bought for this recipe. I just get about 10, uh, 8 to 10 Roma tomatoes, chop them up, throw them and grind them up just a little bit in my food processor, put them in a skillet, and it's done. I mean, you just let it saute with your herbs, your garlic, a little salt and pepper, and that's essentially it. So I take the meatballs out of that same oven that the spaghetti squash is in. I let them cook for about 30 minutes. Now I'm going to throw them over into the sauce with my cornstarch slurry because I want that sauce to thicken up just a little bit. Um, and I put it all together. Now here is the spaghetti squash all done and looking lovely. As you can see around the edges, some of the edges don't always cook. I don't worry about that. Whatever pulls away from your spaghetti squash is what technically is done. You want everything to be fork tender and pull away nicely. If you have to dig to pull it off, it is not done. Do not eat it. It is hard and you're going to have a stomach ache. So let's get to the best part. <laughs> let's plate it and get it done. Now, one spaghetti squash will do four meals. Um, I made three three for meal prep and one for me for dinner tonight so all you're doing is pulling away the spaghetti squash away from the edges and as you can see you don't want to pull away from the hard edges pull away all the flesh that is coming loose gently and put it into your containers and that's essentially it you're going to spoon your sauce on the side you don't want to sit it on the top because spaghetti squash soaks up oil water anything very very easily and you can really have something mushy so you want to put it on the side and you're good to go. And that's my sauce. It's thickened up. I know exactly what was in it because I made it from scratch. I control the sodium. I control what was in the meatballs. And that's why I love making stuff from scratch. And so I'm going to package these up. One, two are going to go into the freezer. One's going to go in the refrigerator for tomorrow's lunch at work. Um, the only thing I did is I put a little bit of cheese on top because I had to be extra. Um, I just wanted some cheese in my spaghetti. I mean, a lot of people eat cheese. Try not to, but I, I did. Okay, I did. All right, I did. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, tuning in today for Sunday meal prep. And I want you guys to enjoy the day. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.